Hey guys, um, this start of this video is going to be me doing a fourth lift. Hi, hi bud. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't really recommend doing this, but it's a fourth lift with about 12, over 1200 brick in day. Uh, Connie's as well, so um, start another job today, so we don't want really much work left on that other job for us. And they were wanting us to take over more plots, and I just didn't want to do it, so... Um, back on a fresh plot now, nice first lift, clay bricks, built the houses before, they're quite quite easy to be honest, you know, none of those expansions as well, those sort of kill your money on on uh, on Connie houses, the expansions, the four in every corner kill you, kill the money, you can mech on them. Um, it's just because this plot, this plot you'll see in this video didn't have any, and we laid loads more bricks in a shorter amount of time just without having to deal with them expansions so is what it is but yeah check it out and then uh, I'll see you guys in the video so guys it's Wednesday um, we've got that fourth lift done that's pans are all on steel's on and stuff so uh, just in front of this one now we're taking over this one up fourth lift right it's uh, Thursday uh, up on this Fourth lift, it's not ours, we took over it. Had a lot of things wet to alter on it. And um, just got to check a few more windows, make sure they're right. And then we'll be cracking on. I apologise for the machine with no oil on it, in, in background, but it's creaking. So we've got an internal. Um, I've still got my me, me brackets. I find it better to clamp them on like that if I'm going to use them. There's no choice sometimes. Found a T comp that one hasn't been nicked. Apologise for the noise as well. Can, oilless machine, um, had to rebond it, can't get my line right down because it tubes but it's a light, first line as a guide, you know nice 10 mil perps, quick level on it and then next course, the course above the tubes we can get line on and we'll have in them. Um, after snap we ain't got any forklift driver tomorrow so I've got to get three tubs of mortar up ready mix, one advantage ready mix, the only advantage I'd say. Another, another pro of bins, they take up less space, you know, bins take up less space than a board and obviously we use tubs on them. You can use a board, smaller boards, a bit of a less square footage. Um, but yeah, another organisation tip, um, what I like to do, you won't be able to see because I've put a band on it, I write how many high I want all the way around the plot, so if we're doing six high, I'll write a number next to every stack where I want it, Dean knows. Now I've put 8 high, I did 12 stacks, I've just covered it up with a 3 quarters. Little organisation tip, it's saving me shit tons of time then. Loads of effort, you know exactly how many bricks you need, that way you're not overloading, wasting time at the end of a lift. Um, lintels sat on right right where you need them, so you're not going to walk around, have to move away from wall. So many things to save you time and make your money, you know. Quickly mark these profiles up as you know, as you've seen last video. You know, all you can do when you take over a lift, you've got to just check the windows are on the right course. You can't always, you know, guarantee they're all going to be level because you didn't build them. But if you just go to your frames as a baseline, that frame's too high. I've got to cut that one down as well. You go to your frames as a baseline, you can't be far wrong. And then you can then, when you get to your frames, you can then get your laser level out or do what I do, uh, where I use a big six foot level and go across the plot and um, you know get it within five ten mil you know when you're taking over someone's work it's always tolerance so aren't going to be as tight but um, yeah so it's just gone half seven and we've, we've you know I achieved my fucking goal of the day finally you know I didn't overshoot what I could do like I normally do um, check it out this is, uh, this is what we got done even with all the alterations fucking about walling under the scaffold the front is done Built a nice big rack back there to the gable. Didn't quite get one built on here. Um, I'm just going to put a profile on that in the morning. Flick that profile round in the morning. This is more of a fucking hassle than you think. Walling that and then putting a block on. Then a course of block. Then common. You know, it's more of a fuck about than you think doing that one. Which is in effect one course of block. But because of the missed the commons it's a fuck about. So you know. But yeah this is what we got. We got three tubs up. Now we've got them two for tomorrow. We've got maybe... At the tops, fucking have to rip the back out a quarter, so cover that up, cover that up, and uh, 
that'll be as that'll be as fallback gobbo. We'll we'll knock that up with the with the paddle if we need it. Um, but yeah, so plan is profile on there this mo on in the morning, run up to the window frame, blast that in. Same with that side, blast that in, and uh, pop all the lintels on a Monday. Right. Fucking live live up in this motherfucker. Thousand bricks today, everyone. Calling it. Dean wants to be off at half three, no later than half four. Failing that, I'll have to get my missus to pick me up. Do your fucking do your video. Fucking you do your video in. You ride on. You ride on. Right. It's quarter to ten. Thousand break, fourth lift. Last video said that, but it was nine hundred. But I actually mean it this time. It's gonna be a thousand. Uh, this is the setup. So we're not putting any lintels on today, we're just getting it to two lintel light, knocking back, we're taking the skateboard all the way up. And about 550 on this side, 550 on that side to do. It's 1100. I've got a tub and tub and a quarter left. I've got pff, fucking tubs, man. Tubs, man. It just gets it gets salty about them tubs. No one, no one likes them, about me. Um, but yeah, it's about it's about I don't know full tubs worth of gobble in seven tubs. You know, what piled up. So, this stuff, if you get it too wet, this stuff will go off on top a little bit, a little bit stiffer for you guys who like it a bit stiff. And down below, it gets a bit creamier for you guys who like it a bit wetter. It's the best of both worlds equality, you know what I mean? So, yeah, doing this freehand. The reason you don't see anyone on YouTube using one profile, a corner, and doing a bit of freehand is because they can't use a fucking level, man. So yeah, right, let's go. So, um, that's completed, took two hours. I'll try to get my watch up for you guys so you can see it. it started at about 10 to, 10 to 10. It's now just gone 10 to 11. Is it 10 to 10? No, 10 to 12, sorry. Yeah, so two hours for this. Um, that's 15 course, is it? 16 course, 16 course we've done there. 510 bricks, but you know, this is stuff that people don't show you. Connie bricks, they'll move. Uh, I'll put my level up this. We built it in two hours. Dean's probably laid at least 150 bricks in that one run, so it'll probably just 300 today. Uh, it's just setting up the bins at the other side. Uh, but check it out. Pro tip for Connie bricks. So, um, there we go. That's that fucker done. Two hour. No rushing. We haven't even broke a sweat really, and it's 30 odd degrees. Got a cooler with some nice cold drinks, keep us temperature down. So we're going to put the level on. This is bear in mind ready mix as well. On this silo, you get a better result. Bottom of where we started, and basically every brick's touching. There's a just a couple of two mil gaps, and then that's that's level. And it's like that all the way along. Do you know how you get that? If you don't, you have to lay the last course on the line. So the Connie bricks because they do want to move. They will move a little bit. Look down that gable. See every brick's touching that line. That is how you get a straight gable, or else you get a lip effect. So if you go down here to what we took over, it's lipping a bit, just a little bit, ever so slightly. But if you wall the last course of your connies on the line, it, it, for, it, it resets it. So if it slumps a couple of mil, it might only be three, four mil, but you can notice that if you don't keep an eye on it. So yeah, pro tip there, mate, pro tip. Dean's laid at least 180 brick. You reckon, what, 16 course, 10 a course, 160 plus? 160 course? 160 brick. So, I've technically only done 340. So, you shit come. <laughs> right, I'll see you on the next gable, I'm going to get some head cam. Right everyone, it's half one. I've got 500 brick in already on that gable. I've well, we got 50 brick already in it, on in yeah on in here up in here um yeah it's hot very hot today the tubs that is that that now those tubs mounted up on the top is enough to lay 500 brick the seven tubs there um i think how many tubs is there dean seven seven yeah seven seven So that is got cooler, Morrison's cheap cooler, probably a tenner, fill with ice, 
cans of pop, water, whatever you want, beer, not alcoholic obviously. So Dean's putting some fat crust in. Dean's gonna joint up in about what half? What you leave, three o'clock? You're jointing up, so an hour and a half. But we should have this pretty much nearly up to height. Um, that one tried to move a little bit on us, but it, it wasn't too bad. Um, I've topped up the sun cream twice. We've only been out in it since probably like nine. Did start walling till quarter, quarter to ten. We haven't had a snap. We just had an energy drink. I'm gonna get this up and then. I had two energy drinks, one monster, one red ball. I'm a fucking Bilkins Tyrannosaurus Rex. So yeah, let's take this fucking vest off. I've got some uh, high vis striped vests coming. Oh, I had to get 3XL by the way because they didn't have 2X. Well, they had 2X, but I thought that wouldn't fit me. 18 stone and 18 stone and stamina of Mo Farah. <laughs> yeah, 10XL. <laughs> so we took these gables right up. Um, Dean, I'm staying till like six. I've got a bucket. I think book cut off time for booking in's eight. So, I'm gonna probably Mel's gonna pick me up at six. I'll have to cancel my mates because I'll, I'll be going. I'll have to come to your barbecue if I can't go out with them. I'm coming to your barbecue if I can't go out with Because it's proper hot as well. We're just I'm spreading for like I don't know. I don't know. Six, six brick. Full joint every time we pick and dip, mate. Not like some uh, some chances out there who were racing apprentices down the line. Getting shown up. It's called speed. It's like sm slow is smooth, smooth is fast. And that's 12 years' experience on the Trowell. Not two years out of your time. <laughs> then off the trial, then back on it. When price has become good. By the way, a little tip, a little tip. If your brick ever dips under the line, or it's above the line, make sure both sides of the brick are above the line or both sides of the brick are below the line. A little tip for speed, certain bricks you'll never see it, some bricks you will, these you will, so you've got to be very neat with these Connie bricks. Connie bills. Oh, right, fuck it, I'll just lay bricks and stop talking. Why? Is it tight? Yeah, it's probably their corner. gone stiff on it. It's got both stiffened up a bit. Yeah. It's all Stick its stuff on top. Yeah. It's only on top that though.
God, it's fucking warm. Put some tunes back on in a bit. I'll just get half an hour footage with Ed Cam for video. It's all the bollocks what people say about them. There was bloody plastic spot boards. This is plastic, effectively a plastic spot board on the top. Gobbo sat exposed, it's going stiff. It's ready mix. It was wet ready mix. That's why you need the that's why tubs are superior in this hot weather. You know, people talk say about them gator boards and whatnot, which is a good piece of kit. But with the stuff I'm using, I'm like the only one of the only guys using tubs with this sort of tile setting trial. There's a few iterations of it. This isn't very strong. Marshall Town's better, but I don't fancy paying 35 quid when I can get one of these for half the price, 15 quid. People don't want to admit that 599 black B and Q tub does the same thing as a 35 quid gator board, but better. Not overloading the wrist. People have said also about these. Oh, it's it's hard in your wrist. It's not because you're picking up one brick's worth of gobbo at a time. And with a conny brick, you need less gobbo per brick anyway. Because look at that, there's nowhere for gobbo to go. So you're always never overloading the wrist. You're getting a little bit at a time, just the right amount. You don't need as much for a pick and dip like you do a frog brick. Minimal pressing, wiggle your connies, on to the next one. Probably need a bit less gobble than that, yours is a bit stiff. Just spread it two or three brick, just two or three brick maybe. Put some bees in it. Bees in the log. Might put some bees in my log. Because down here the bed's quite small and Oh, is it that corner that you're working off that was already there? Your bed's small. Did you move your line up when you've laid that? Um, oh no, we're not. You're not up to that yet, are you? Out. No, sorry, I forgot. I forgot there's a fucking corner there, isn't there? Yeah. I fucking want my hat back on. Too much, isn't it? That's all right, pull it on, isn't it? Yeah, then that should just go up. No, that should, should stay at that height. That sound. Tighten this line up a bit. Yeah. Let's tighten this line up a little bit.
Yeah. yeah. They don't flick up fast anyways. There you go, mate. So I'll put it there. Yeah, watch this YouTube. Looking people think, oh, these are heavy, aren't they? Not for me, they're not. I'll get it on my own, Dean. Just for YouTube. Well. Used to deadlift about 300, 320 kilos were my best. Uh, like a fucking Atlas uh, still, mate. I ain't got any yet, that's my belly. These handles you can fill them at full capacity as well. Fucking, it's nice and creamy underneath. Cream, eh? No, no, that's what you're. That's what you've got to do. I've not been that way. It's a bit wide, just put a tip on it. That angle's very easy on the shot. You're using none of your actual, you're not using your arm, you're actually using the momentum of your body. So use it as like an anchor and then move, pin your, pin your elbow, because it's an elbow height for me. Pin your elbow to your sides, to your lats, to your back, and just lever, lever with your body. You're not actually using your arm muscle like on a board. On a board, you, you're, it's at a height where you, you're having to use your arm, but with it being a tub, you just use your body to pick it up with it. So much easier. Use all your, use the bigger muscles in your body, like your back, your shoulders, your core. There's a lot to this. There's a lot to this using a, using a. Uh, Using tubs, it's a different motion. That's why I'm able to work in all these hours without knackery missing out. So I'm using everything efficient, efficient movement patterns. Low stress on the joints, low muscular stress. Muscular. Yeah, Dean has to do it all. And Harry laughs his way to the fucking bank. After he rips me off, after he pays me £40 a day because he's on the trowel and I'm having to teach him. He, has, he may have laid £200 worth of bricks, but I pay him £40 because I had to tap one of them. <laughs> so technically I had to lay all of the bricks. You might as well have not played any of them. Might and tea. Wet. The gobble's wet. 
Why is there half a tub left? Because it's only buddy two o'clock now. If you're jointing up at three, can't see there being much left to fucking fucking. I might have even fucking. That means it's two on the dot when the when we when we think he beeps. Casio. Got it because it's cheapest one on Amazon. And Collison, Collison happened to wear it, so I got one. So it would make me lay as fast and, and as neat as he 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 did in his first videos. Yeah. You are right, yeah. Fucking, I'm all. I'm a man of faith. Faith to the brick lane gods. <laughs> While you hum that song, it'll get copyrighted now. Oh, shit, I do I'm joking. I'm fucking. No one could tell what's on. I'm fucking tapioking. When Harry come to town, <laughs> just leave it. Just leave a nick joint in here. <laughs> when Bilkins come to town. Da -da 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 -da. So manners don't bad mind me, I have to pull tightly when Bilkins come to town. If you don't have a WFD for you've got to pull your pull your dory off the profile. I need to tighten this line up, it's dingly dangling a bit. Well, go get that fucker. It's how light, I'm not even gripping the trowel very hard.
the job empty? It's just us. Oh, hey, Plaggy. Oh. Is the job, is the job empty? What? Is there anyone even here yet? Left, left here. Step on the scaff, step, step on the scaff. Fucking hell. It's a good big half there, isn't it? Yeah. The big Arthur in that tub. Big half. Fucking hell, Jim. Fucking Jim. Raymond Jim over there. Blasting them down. The main, 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 main man, dem Jim over there. Fucking start jointing in half an hour if you want, Dinios. We get to the top of that window, start jointing, then get yourself fucking off in good time, mate, because you don't want to be busting a fucking fat crust in this weather. You got to do it when you get home, haven't you? As I as I fucking start doing it. Couple of benzo. Yeah. No, eh? I just be just the wet stuff at bottom. But I'm expecting this stuff next time. Even on my old crust. 
<웃음> 와. 아, 저. 네. The Wate. Fucking honey, man. Fetter. Oh shit, it's just me fucking. Oh, it's oh. all in me fucking smoked custard. And why have you put egg custards in there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've got it melted. I've put egg custard in this That's my teeth. <sighs> Bill T T. I like it in hot, in hot weather. You just wipe your your hand can be wet. You just wipe it on your top and it's dry again in about fucking five seconds. Cover this spread, I think I'll fucking stack bricks up a bit. Take this fucking camera off, I've had enough. Hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of footage. So it's uh, five to five. Um, that other panel's done, so I can't remember what time we started the other panel. Right, quarter to two, half one, I think we started it. Um, I've been jointed up for the last hour because Dean had to get off. Uh, Dean got off at like half four, so I've been just jointing this up for half an hour. Um, so yeah, I think we've got, I can't have one too many courses on that, I think. Hold on a minute, what do we have? We've got one, three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, it's 15 courses on it, not, not uh, 16. So 15, it's about 400 and, yeah, I said 5, 10, didn't it? It's like 480 per side. This has got three less in, so I'd say 450, I think. 480, 450, that's like 920. 9.30 so far um, but I'm going to bash another 200 in and get that 1100 in I, want. I was uh, you know what I mean so I've got about 900 in so far yep, so I've got, got that up that's up 15 course that one's up obviously I've just gone six higher than the block because that's where the next lot of tyres will start takes a bit of work out of these cut ups because these cuts are shit we don't got any cuts on this site we've got to do it hammer and nicker because of Connie so it's about 180 brick down there so Bust over a thousand, maybe eleven hundred. I'll have a quick count before I finish. Um, it's got a fucking book in by seven. I, I normally send it late and he, he gets it, so seven I'll book in on way home or something. It's a bit fiddly how they do the lifts here, so got to count all that fuck up and all. Yeah, it's all a bit, all a bit, all a bit gull like. We can only do what we can do at the end of the day. I've had a few bad fucking weeks, to be honest, guys. I don't I ain't even fucking uh, day work for like last fucking. I've got less than day work last two weeks. This will be first week. I fucking <laughs> a lot more, more than fucking day work. 
Um, as you can probably tell that last couple of videos, get burnt out and stuff, you can't always do it, you know. I don't have the best support system. Um, I just fucking do a lot of it on my own. I mean, Dean's fucking main person, Dean and our lasses, the main people help me. That is about it. That is about it. But, keep at it, mate. Keep at it. Fucking, uh, when the, uh, the time, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Let's roll.
yeah, that's that done today. Thank fuck. It's uh, it's been an hard day, a big day. I've got a fucking count up. I can't forget to fucking do that, Jesus. Count up. I'll get back to you guys. The final resulte in the momente. Nails it as well. All right. Two wins. So uh, I've got a little to count up. We did just shy of 500 brick yesterday. And then we did about 1,280 brick today. Um, obviously Dean did up probably close to 200, but um, obviously with my guidance, etc, etc. But he's doing really well. We smashed it, we smashed it today. We got it where we wanted to get it. We wanted to get it to lintels. It's just now across the block, all the way around, over them lintels. Obviously, fixing, fixing obviously, a few of the things I had to change. Um, fucking uh, superstar Mel. We would save, save the day. I brought Dean's brick hammer, sorry Dean, it's probably not, don't have watched this, but, yeah, um, smashed it guys, absolutely fucking smashed it. Shane, hope you, uh, hope you're motivated to, uh, you guys, old guys, young guys, anyone alike to really get at it and fucking attack some work, because, you know, you can make some serious dollar. So guys, yeah, I've burnt my head a bit, you can see, uh, it's still been hot, you know, but the tubs are working really well. Um, as you can see on a plot like that without the expansions you only need two profiles literally two profiles a little bit of freehand tailing out corners um, to up to windows or door reveals or patio doors and you literally you know you can smash in loads of work you know um, so on the next job because they're in those type of expansions I'm going to be doing a little bit less profile work um, just because as well you know you can get you can use too many profiles and get more sort of reliant on them as a crutch instead of making you faster. Um, you know, especially as, as a small gang like myself, one and one, or one and improver now with Dean, you know, it doesn't always make sense to just be setting profiles up for hours in advance. Um, sometimes you just want to get building, you know, and there's enough problems that you come into with weather, scaffolds, you know, taking over plots and stuff not being right to be wasting time always preparing you know I always prepare I'm organized more than I'm um, most organized I've probably ever been uh, and I still sometimes you still can't be doing a little bit of freehand little bit of profile work you know mixing it up um, and we can make we can still make really good money by just utilizing knowing there's a time and place to set loads of profiles up and time and place just set a few up, you know what I mean, so um, yeah, sorry I've had a bit of a break from making videos as well, I've had this one obviously med for a, a couple of weeks or so, um, I didn't basically med nothing last week, I had a couple of days off with a cat as you know, thanks a lot for the support on the post of Buddy, uh, one of my cats, so um, just needed to take it easy really, and um, yeah, I'll be smashing some more work in and uh, I'll be making some good money in the next couple of videos so I'll be able to give you guys some tips as well um, for clay bricks for a lot of different things because these houses are, are very much different and they're bigger as well so um, you can, they've got bigger bigger runs of cream to go out you know there is there is a problem sometimes with houses some houses especially pairs, uh, three plots and four plots, there ain't enough cream in them, there ain't enough, you know, you want detached houses with like 40, 50 brick gables in, you know, you want at least 25, 4 inch blocks of court, you know, you want big houses to make the big, big money really. Um, but yeah, you know, it is what it is, um, I'll be probably back on those sort of Gleason houses again at some point, but it's, it's just difficult with there's a lot of so many, just because there's so much work out there these days, you've got to really pick what you can make the most money on because, you know, it ain't going to be like this forever. You know, there's going to be, you want you want the, you want the cream, you want the cream in front of you really. You know, that's why Charlie Coyson always said in his older videos, which is right, a lot of the shit he says, it's right, it is right. You know, you want to have the cream, you want the best work, you don't want to be doing shit, you know what I mean? don't want to be doing shit, I did it for years, doing shit bits of work and don't make any money doing it, so, anyway, see you guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.